Hey everyone, Crayola Pigs here, and I want to show you my next project. Uh, so my last trip to Japan, I bought this cute little peyote bead kit um, for a book. I thought it was so cute and it was really cheap, so I said why not. And I quickly put it together and it was just adorable. It's got its own pages and the coloring patterns were really cute, so I was like, um. Oh, what can I make with this? What book can I make next? So I wanted to do something bigger. So um, for my project, I am using some fire line, and then I'm using uh, some scissors to cut my fire line. <laughs> and then next, uh, I've got a needle, and then I'm going to be using fuse bead. Yep, fuse beads instead of uh, little seed beads, instead of delicas. And so I'm using, in this particular project, I'm just using a few colors, white, green, red, black, and yellow. And so I quickly um, mocked up a design of what I wanted to do. Um, and I decided to do uh, a Legend of Zelda theme. Now this is in no way a tutorial. I'm just showing you a project that I decided to do. Um, but if you want a tutorial on this one, just leave a comment below and you know, if there's a general consensus, consensus on that, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and make one up for you guys. So I've decided to take um, two different Legend of Zelda books and um, smush them together into one. So one side is one book, one side is the other. So this red side that I'm working on first is actually the Book of Magic from the original, the first Legend of Zelda. Um, it's just a quest item that you find in one of the dungeons and it allows the magic rod, another item that you pick up, um, to actually shoot flames. So it's quite handy and it's way better than the candle. <laughs> um, it does actually have a cross on the cover in the game. Um, and in the original Japanese version, it was actually um, called the Bible. Um, so it's quite interesting how that's changed, um, being ported over um, to English. So the fuse beads that I'm using are uh, the IKEA Paisla beads. Um, they do come in one big jar. Uh, of like 10 colors so um, have a look at my other video where I'm actually sorting that jar into the separate colors just makes it a lot easier um, to get the colors that you want when you want them so the green part of the cover here um, is the book of Medora and that's from uh, the Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past which is actually my favorite Zelda game. Um, this book is supposed to contain the history, legends, prophecies, and the laws of Hyrule. Um, and in the game, uh, Link actually uses the book to translate stones that he finds that are engraved with the ancient Hylian language. Um, you do need this book to actually progress to the end, as you can't enter some of the dungeons without it. So. Have. Like I said, A Link to the Past is my favorite game, um, although <laughs> I should be ashamed, but I haven't actually played Ocarina of Time, so I need to get on that. But uh, why don't you tell me what your favorite Legend of Zelda game is? Just comment down below. I'm really interested in knowing. So now just getting started on um, the actual pages of the book. Um, it's a little bit easier, um, but instead of just having, you know, the lines for text on both pages, I decided to design something a bit different. And yeah, I goofed up on my own design. Had to take some out, but you know, it happens. It really does happen. <laughs> uh, 
And by now I'm sure you've already guessed that I have de decided to put the Triforce on this page. Yay! Very fitting for a Legend of Zelda book, don't you think? Okay, here's a quick tip. When you're working with like a fire line or a string or even wire, it's better to work with a shorter piece than a longer piece. Um, yeah, you'll have more ends to clean up, but you'll have a lot less tangles and it's just overall easier to work with. I'm quite a curious person. So I like to um, just do a quick search on the history of whatever craft project that I'm working on. And so I decided to look up Peyote Stitch this time. And I found out that um, Peyote Stitch, um, well, the history of it isn't really known, but it has been traced um, back to ancient Egypt and to the Plains Native Americans in the US. Um, but yeah. The researchers haven't really been able to find who actually invented this stitch. Um, but it seems that the name peyote was given by the Plains Native Americans as it was used to um, decorate items that were used in peyote ceremonies. Um, but there is proof that um, it was actually used long, long before that. Peyote stitch is an off loom stitch, as you can see, and there are many types, um, such as the even count, the odd count, which is what I'm using here, uh, tubular, and flat round. Okay, so I've got everything beaded. Um, now I'm just kind of uh, trimming all of my ends, removing the stopper bead and making sure everything's woven in and clean and neat. Then I'm just going to sew the pages to the cover. This was really easy and it actually used um, a lot less beads than I thought it would. So I have plenty of fused beads left to do another project. And that's it, we're all done. Book of Magic on one side. Book of Medora on the other side. Got a page with the Triforce and a page with secret hidden language that's just straight lines <laughs> and that's it it's really flexible it's fun to feel and hold and everything that's my personal design on this my personal take thank you all so much for watching i'll see you in my next video later